Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of the Scarable Podcast. I'm the host Deco. This podcast will be run a little bit differently to the previous. Uh, it'll be freely open, anyone can talk as they want, it'll be casual and relaxed with no order. Express your thoughts as much as you want, you don't have to comment. Uh, first up, uh, as mentioned, I'm Deco. I'm a Lieutenant Bronze Star in Scarivo, and my role in Scarivo is hosting Skill of the Week and hosting the podcast. Hello, my name is Seekin. I'm a, I'm a Max Diamond. Hi, I'm Lug. Uh, my role in Scaryvor as a lieutenant or Bronze Star is to host the raids event. Hello, my name is Dead HCM. I'm a Dead Hardcore Iron Man, 2000 total, by the way. And I'm a tree banana. Hey, Dar from Cake Sauce, by the way. I'm Dodo. Um, <laughs> my role is Lieutenant, and I should post in Discord. True. <laughs> Same, by the way. Uh, I'm Swiss, and I'm just a standard Bronze Star maxed main player. <laughs> Alright. And what are you guys currently doing in game? And what are your plans short term and long term? So, as uh, as an Iron Man, uh, my short term goal is to abuse RD Knights until they get nerfed, um, because I feel like it's easy XP, and I don't think I think I would regret it if I don't uh, abuse it now before the the, the nerf. So. That, oh, as yeah. well as maxing my Iron Man, because I have four total levels, uh, sorry, five total levels left to max the Iron Man. So those are my two short-term goals. Uh, long-term, I want to go for a top page spot on the Iron Man high score, as well as uh, obtain all the PVM items. Okay, right now, because I'm a bad Iron Man, I'm standing in Edgefield Bank doing nothing. Uh, I'm about to do Solra. My short-term goal is to get some to or to start doing raid or to keep doing raids to get rigor, so I can continue my PVM with like Cyril Dolman. And long-term is max cape and uh, getting or filling all the clues things in your house in the POH. I'm uh, I'm training herbivore. I mean, I'm training hunter right now with uh, herbivore. I guess my short-term goal is to, I guess, just to keep up with it. I don't really have any other goals than just do my herb runs and uh, train hunter to 150 mil right now. And like a really long-term goal would be to be uh, like top 10 EHP Ironman. Mm, in game, I'm feeding early nights and room crafting from 89 to 91 of my alt. I was doing herb lore and raids, but herbal uses mouse keys and it makes a little more sound than just clicking at fees, so I thought I'd just uh, be less disturbing for the, for the uh, podcast. Um, just raids is really fun with three people, like holy, oh, yeah, it's so addicting. So yes. me maxing, it's kind of getting delayed, but I'm 2200, I'll get there in it like within this year. On my alt, just gonna Make blood runes, runecraft natures because I like runecrafting. Uh, and after maxing, I still have more goals. Just gonna get all skating pets except for Hunter because fuck that skill. <laughs> and I'll just do an hour of uh, an hour or two of like one two crumb once once in a while. And within a year or so, I'll be uh, two hundred more cooking, which is pretty cool. Nice. Uh, my short term goal is to get toy top 500 HP so I can get one nano and Omnia about 400 hours away and also finish off 200 mil uh, thieving. Uh, long term, not quite sure yet, probably change after I do thieving, probably maybe Hunter, no, that's about it. Uh, my goals have changed just a little bit. Um, I was taking the game really seriously in the last podcast. Uh, it's going for some pretty big goals, and I've been feeling pretty stressed with university and stuff, so I've decided to lay off a bit, plus when I return home from university uh, this summer, I uh, expect my girlfriend will 
take a lot of time off me, so I don't really see myself doing anything fulfilling, with skill in at least. So uh, at the moment I'm thieving Audi Knights. Uh, I go in for a few pets. Uh, I'm in Tortoise. I'm going to go for a few points in Tortoise, do, do a few completionist stuff that I've always wanted to do. Uh, something I've wanted from as long as I can remember is gold decorative armor from Castle Wars. So it'd be really nice to finally get that. Uh, long term, yeah, long term, I see myself playing Iron Man. Uh, I think once I'm finished with my completionist stuff, um, I can see myself just making money on my main to fund my Iron Man for, with bonds. Uh, don't really plan on playing the game competitively, so you, uh, as I was trying to in the last podcast. Just trying to relax and enjoy myself more. Have you just admitted that you're burnt, hexic smiley? I'm not burnt. I'm still playing the game. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Kill yourself. <laughs> Omnia infidel. Alright, let's, let's get on to the questions. So, Jagex recently announced that the price of membership will increase from £5.99 to £6.99 and the price of bonds will increase to £4 per bond. What are your guys' thoughts on this and how do you think this will affect the price of bonds? So, I really care. Yeah, it's, uh, in a way, like, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I don't know, it doesn't make a huge, huge difference to me. Um, I have a lot of extra money just from extra dupe drops uh, from raids on my Iron Man. So uh, like in the long term, it really won't affect me. But having said that, I really don't, uh, from Jagex's point of view, I really don't see the um, the problem with it because with inflation and everything, like I get it, they, uh, they need to make a little bit more money for, for what, it, what they, you know, what, what they produce, their their services, their uh, upkeep of the game, essentially. Um, and with the extra money, they can put that towards, um, you know, various things that they deem to be important for their game. Uh, the thing I'm concerned with is that they said increasing the price of membership will garner more income for them so that they can focus on bigger updates. They'll have a bigger budget for more updates, and that really concerns me. I don't want them. I'm a bit of a nostalgic freak. Uh, I just don't want to see this game changing more and more progressively. I don't mind the small updates that are necessary, but I just don't want to see big updates like Raids 2 that I think will come from this increase. Okay, so you think there's going to be a lot more pressure to just pump out the updates with uh, more more members or more like mods and stuff like that? Yeah, I've I've been feeling a lot lately that this game has been run more like a business than you know this is like a life for a lot of people, and I don't I don't think they see us as players. I think they see us as customers. Is a business? What do you expect? Yeah, it is a business, so... RS3 is going downhill, so... Yeah, but it was, now they need to get money from it was never meant to be like that, though. It was, RS3 was meant to be the game that they can fuck around with and treat the players how they want. No one's playing that game anymore. Yeah, because they wanted what they provided, like, the old-school servers. Like, everyone came to this game to, to play old-school. I don't think they realised how big old-school would get. I just don't think that's the reason to... Treat us like customers. I don't mind the prices increasing, really. I mean, I might be yeah. sounding dramatic. You know, it's only a one pound increase, but it's what they said as the reason why they're increasing. Is the fact that's concerning yeah. me. Are you concerned that they're just like kind of saying that as an excuse, or? No, I I do believe it. I do I do believe that they're gonna build. I'm fine with it too, as long as it's just like a one-time thing, I hope they don't like keep pushing it. Like this is the start of something where they're like every. Uh, I don't do think you, it is. But how do you get the cheaper membership? Still, like, do you have to keep resubscribing before your membership runs out or something? Yeah, it's put a lot of pressure on us now because once our membership runs out, um, you have to use the new one. Yeah. Oh really? Oh really? Oh, that's really good actually. 
Yeah, then it's, so yeah. On third of June, I did. I have to buy a year's membership just so I get it cheaper. Basically. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. For me, for me, I've uh, never used. Bond. For me, the price increase doesn't change anything really. I'll just drop duplicates on all the account that I have to make some, uh, and then yeah. So that doesn't affect me. But I just have a question: uh, How much was the bond price before? It was five pound ninety nine, and now it's six pound ninety nine. So it's gone up up one pound. Okay. In game, it was like a, slightly under three mil, and now. Yeah, it will be. The uh, that shot up to like over 4 mil, but I think it's still it to like 3.5. Yeah, what, what do you guys think the price of bonds are going to be? I'm, I'm guessing like 5 mil. I don't think that bad. Four mm. mil. I only yeah. use bonds to pay for my ult. Long term, yeah, I don't think it will be that much. I think long term they'll settle around 4 mil. Like, yeah. as long as they don't increase the price again, of course. Yeah. But with this price increase, I think you just that. You just can't afford it with that. Anymore. Yeah. Do you guys think uh, that they will keep pushing the prices, or do you think that's like a one-time thing now? I don't know. I was very surprised when they did it. it was out of nowhere, really? Wasn't it was, it? yeah. Yeah. I I can see it. I did see something recently that um like the Chinese company that bought uh, RuneScape, they were doing really bad. Right. And it's not Runes like they were doing good on RuneScape, but I saw a video where they were talking about how it was doing pretty bad in other things. Hmm. So I hope um, like that might be influenced, uh, like that might be why they are doing this too. Yeah, trying to milk the profitable game. Yeah, <laughs> but I do think they're like they must be aware that if they like fuck us over, people are gonna get really mad and like they're not gonna like want to play anymore, right? So you'd hope so, but I don't know. As, as game change, owners, yeah, I sure. think. I think like old school is um, the game where people are really uh, heavy on like no MXD and stuff like that. So I think if they do, like I, I can, know, especially with old school mobile, all these new people are not gonna give two fucks about the game. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm am a bit scared of mobile to be honest. I'm a bit scared it's gonna have a too big of an impact on. I think it's pretty obvious that they've increased their perfect timing with mobile too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we'll I think we have a we have a question to talk about mobile later on in the podcast. So yeah. Can, yeah, yeah, more than that. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Uh, Jagex have released the iPhone invitations this week. Did any of you guys get an invite on release? And uh, what skills or pieces of content do you think will be affected by mobile? Anyone get an invite? Android. Uh, no. no. Any of you get an Android invite? Oh, no. Not even no. apply. I don't. I don't care for it at it's all. I just, see it, I just see it. as a quality quality of life update for Chrome remote. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't really use my phone. Uh, I would have loved to to get an invite, of course. Um, I could see myself using it for a lot of different things because I spend a lot of time, at least now while I'm at university, um, a lot of times going to and from classes and where someone else maybe would be able to use Chrome Remote Desktop. I only have a laptop, so I don't have a, a desktop computer, so I have to bring my laptop with me to school. And during those times, particularly the transport periods, I don't really have time to play, so. I'm like that um, sometimes. I'm like, should I bring my laptop into class or should I just phone zone? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I, I use my laptop to take notes and everything, so. Uh, no. I've been... Like I can play while I'm in class and in the background, but like the it's mostly the transport periods in between. Yeah. I've been playing relaxed for like a week now, and previously I didn't go to lectures really, and the ones that I did go to I used to phone zone in anyway. So I went to a lecture for the first time in a couple of months and actually listened. I learned so much. <laughs> it's depressing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what, what skills or pieces of content at least do you think will be affected by mobile though? No so way. they said uh, they said they would um, allow like um, like quick dart uh, flashing or whatever, right? Like it's really easy. In yeah, mobile, yeah. Right? Like you can just literally just tap your phone. Yeah. So I mean, it's not really efficient anyway to do that. Yeah, right? so, you do it in between ticks anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's gonna be. 
I think like um, PC gaming is still gonna be the best. So it it did already change like a couple things though. I do see why. Like I do think um, on mobile they're gonna make like withdrawal. Like you can literally just click and then um, like it will like the X thing. How do I say that? Withdrawal X. Yeah, you can just click it with one click, and I do think that mobile. I really don't want that. They're gonna bring it's in. It's only mobile though. Like I, I think eventually they'll do it uh, with like PCs too. Like the PC gamers are gonna complain like uh, mobile is better now. <sighs> they might like in. like shift click withdraw X or something. Yeah. Yeah. I can uh, see that to be honest. I like what a mod. So it's gonna change. I like what a mod wolf said in the most recent Q and A. He said. Um, he doesn't want to focus on updates for mobile because it's a choice. You know, it's supposed to be a desktop game, and it's want to take away from yeah. desktop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. I, um, yeah, no, I, What's I gonna agree. be funny is fuck. There's gonna be something in mobile that's more efficient on PC, and people are gonna download their mobile Android emulator <laughs> and play on their PC. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Something, yeah. something's going to be more efficient because of the crutches to giving mobile players. Yeah. The crutches are fine, but if you can emulate them on the PC, that's fucking... I'm scared that like something is going to be more uh, efficient on mobile, and then they're going to be like, oh, I'll put it on like uh, PC yeah. gamers too. Like, in, a they're year, gonna that, I think. in a year, Crystal Math Labs will have a different EHP for mobile. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ma- yeah. Means, means mobile. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> Mobile main, by the way. I'm joking, <laughs> mobile, but that'd be, that'd be funny as fuck. Yeah. Mobile will be really nice for me when I'm going to do skills like rune crafting or something with Seiya, because that's what I will do for 99. So instead of actually having to sit in my chair and do RC, I can lay in my bed for one month doing Seiya RC. I don't know how convenient it's going to be. Like, Think like banking or whatever. Like, yeah, I'll have the withdraw X left click option, which will be really OP. But think about depositing. Like, do you have to like tap and hold? If so, that'll be slower than desktop. I mean, I think they should have like a way to do that easier, maybe. If you play OS the rest as a mobile game, you expect to be efficient. I don't think you're expecting this. To, uh, yeah, you're looking for the wrong thing. Yeah. So. yeah. So. Um, one thing to note, I was talking to a couple of my friends actually who got an invite uh, to the mobile right. and uh, they, uh, one of the things they kind of saw was, I was asking them a lot, oh, can you like, while you're playing it, can you just like tap out, like can you press the home button, like on your iPhone or something like that, go to your, your text or something, send a text to someone or, or use the internet or whatever, and then come back and will you still be like logged in? And one of the guys, because obviously I, I think they're still like, in testing and stuff. So one of the guys was like, yeah, it still keeps me logged in. Um, but you stop doing the action. So he was like doing Redwoods. So oh, yeah. you, you basically stop woodcutting, but it still keeps you logged in. So if you're in Nightmare mm-hmm. Zone, it would stop you from attacking. Yeah, so that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, Auto like he, You know when you hit the 20-minute AFK period yeah. in Nightmare Zone? It stops you attacking. It's the same thing. For when uh, these stops get us still live on. This is, this is not yeah. a problem, right? I think. How yeah. do you guys feel no, about I, that? I think it should be like that, to be honest. Yeah, it should be. Um, yeah. but, no, 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 But in that case, I think obviously Nightmare Zone will be used with Chrome Desktop and anything else will be used with mobile. I just can't wait yeah. for people to do YouTube videos, Road to Max on the iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I think it would be interesting. It gives a different aspect to the game. But... Yeah. Okay, so so what I can do instead of like I, on my new hardcore, I can play on my mobile only. And <laughs> the cake stalls on mobile. Yeah. Hopefully, you don't die again. If nights are still around, I can foot pedal on my desktop and then play an Iron Man or something on my phone. Exactly. I started a hardcore Iron Man today. I'm considering uh, playing like really AFK on that one on the side, just because like right now my Iron Man is my only account, and when I do AFK stuff there, it's really shit. So, <clears throat> yeah. uh, 
going back to what I said earlier about left clicks, um, what are your thoughts on OSRS, uh, even the desktop version, becoming left click favorable? Um, the convenient updates that are coming out, for example, uh, left click anvil to smith, uh, pressing one to craft, pressing one for construction. It just basically skilling is just getting a buff. Um, it's not very old school. That was certainly different to original. Uh, do you think they should have kept allowing HK, or should they kept the game old school style, or do you like the way it is now? Should have kept it back. It was like, just like how, how HK was sort of rule thing. Use it one to one, then just ban the people who abused it instead of making it like instead of making everything so easy, such as like shift drop. Uh, and as you said, like uh, one click one for crafting and stuff. They should have just made it just just, just ban people who use HK who abused HK. Simple. For me personally, I think. Um... I didn't actually use AHK very much beforehand. I think I used AHK probably maybe for a couple of months before it actually got banned. Um, and before that, I didn't really know about it or, or was a little scared to use it, to be yeah. honest. Um, so when I when I started to use it, obviously, just, just the basic ones, you know, doing the drops and dart fletching and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, it was, it was interesting. I personally think that most of the stuff in game now is okay and i don't mind it um it's only when it starts affecting certain groups to me that it becomes a problem like uh, i don't know like the construction stuff pressing one isn't too bad um the anvil stuff for me isn't too bad but one of the things i didn't like was um uh, they made chompies left click yeah. so Filling, filling the, uh, whatever the, I forget gas what bubbles. Called, filling the things. Yeah, the gas bubbles. That's left click now. Oh, that's um, really... Clicking the swamp toads is left click. So it's just brain mm -hmm. dead now. Um, and it, it essentially kind of devalued the completionist community for, yeah, for that. And I get it because, because it, killers feel the same way um, about their, their achievements in, you know, say construction, for example. Um, where it's been made a little bit easier. So I understand it's kind of relatable, but um, yeah, to me, I think they can't really go much farther than they have. If they do, then I, I won't really like it too much. I think the chompy bird thing is kind of sad, but at least I can understand because it's a diary thing. But still, I found it's relaxing. I know a fuck some people hate it, but yeah, you know, it the, the majority wants to left click only. Uh, yeah. What I really hate is left click non glider. I'm like, what the? Yeah. If I see an NPC, I want to. I, I, I never want to talk to him. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit about the gnome's life. I don't want to know how his <laughs> family is doing. But I want to right click him, go to like conversation options down, and then use the fucking glider. I don't want to left click. Yeah, I, I, I keep, I keep making the mistake. Yeah, I totally and, forgot about that. Yeah, and constr construction is hold one. You don't have to. Hold one, press space bar, and then yeah. hold one again. So that those actions, the click intensity is is lowered, which is sad because construction takes so little hours. And they make all of us fine, but I would just prefer if they didn't do that for best furnace. I don't understand what else necessity. I actually love the blast furnace. It, I don't know. Maybe it, mm -hmm. maybe it's a bad thing, but it actually made it one of my favorite like sealing methods. Now it's so chill. With the make all interface. Wait, what did they do on there? No, uh, just made it like like normal 14, 14, 14 by 14 scales on the make all thing when you collect oh. your bars. So they have that little small yeah. uh, square. Well, yeah, they're so gonna to, move that small like, square yeah. to the big square, the big gold bar square. Yeah, and then they just made it make all. But... And now it's make all. So instead of yeah. clicking, you just hold one and you tying your click to the back chest or something. I would have preferred the game. Stay, stay to its uh, its basics. So yeah, its roots. Um, I think AHK was fine. I think um, for serious skillers, yeah, uh, there is a lot of problems. Um, that can occur by not using AHK 
uh, arthritis and carpal tunnel and stuff. Um, like some people are just addicted to this game, and I don't know. I I, I think it's it, I don't know. It's, it's it stops a lot of problems from occurring. Um, I just I just feel like the the press in one and stuff is not true to his roots. I think it's changed a lot and it's become a convenient skip. Yeah. Yeah, the shift click was ridiculous. I never would have thought the shift click would come into the game when I started this. Like after AHK got banned. That came directly because yeah, of after AHK got banned and that was proposed, I thought it was a meme. I seriously didn't think that you'd be able to shift, click, drop things. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but they banned the AHK, so I understand it. Should have made jackets, jackets keys. It seems to me like... Honestly, I thought that I think they should have as well. Jagger's keys was asked for it. It just seems to me like they've removed AHK and made it even easier. They've changed things from three buttons to one button. Like, I understand that a lot of people are abusing it, but I think the answer to that is to get good, like, be able to censor. If you made an HK shift drop, you'd be banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely. So weird. <laughs> well, then that's so weird. Hello. Yeah. Uh, recently, I saw a suggestion on Reddit. Um, it didn't have a lot of upvotes, so I didn't give a shit. I was just kind of. I like Type Farm. I like Type Farm, but there's <laughs> there's no rewarding thing out of it. After Seed Box, you get total yeah. spins. That's it. I like the activity, but I I can't get myself to do it because there's Pointless. zero rewards at all. The there's entrance... no rewards for getting a 200 mil. <laughs> <laughs> but people, people on Reddit, someone on Reddit wants it to make all of Type Farm left click on Farm Patch. You know how you use yeah. an item on a farm patch and then yeah. you use another item on a farm yeah. patch? They want to make it an all left click farm patch. I'm like, yes. what? What the fuck? Yeah, Makes you know. wonder why they played the That's game. Why I don't, go on Reddit. I don't yeah, get how you like Typhoon. I hate it. I hate Typhoon. Oh, I, I don't think too. it's relaxing. I don't know. That's the reason I haven't done it. Alright, so I mentioned uh, the roots of RuneScape. Next one, controversial one. Uh, a lot of content creators lately have been showing RuneLight, a new client, in a negative perspective. Uh, the claim is overpowered. What are you guys' thoughts on the current third-party clients, and have they gone too far? I mean, I do feel handicapped when there's like an update, you know, when the system update uh, hits and turns... Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like Unplayable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, are they overpowered? Yes, they are, but I don't think, for example, Rune Light is more um, overpowered compared to the others. I think all of them are. I So, I really like them myself. I Yeah, it does make the game a lot easier, but it's, like, more fun for me. But I can get why yeah. other people would really hate them. In my opinion, I think it's... Um, I was just going to say, in my opinion, it's a... In general, there's a couple maybe that are slightly different, but in general, I think it's just a lot of quality of life things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, for, for for the clients, um, obviously, you know, one of the one of the things about Runelight was a the raids uh, thing, which everyone was kind of freaking out a little bit over. Now, Conduit has something similar um, for for scouting yeah. raids. Yeah, for scouting raids. Um, but essentially that right now is exactly what you can still scout as a normal human being. Um, yeah. It's just slightly faster. You can kind of just see see uh, the rooms right away as opposed to having to uh, click on the mini map and kind of see, see everything. But essentially it still does the same thing an old person can do. It just makes it slightly, I don't know, I guess faster, a little bit of quality of life. And that I don't mind too much. Yeah. yeah. 
there are uh, some features that I do think are overpowered. Like they're accepted right now, I think. Um, like changing the left click or whatever on uh, on like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can, you can get like a lot mm. more XP if you uh, play on a, on a third party, party client. Uh, client. Yeah, third party client. If you do that, so I do think. Do you guys think that should be allowed? I I don't. No shift click config. I don't mm. think so. But fuck me, is it ever nice? Like I, it is really good. I it's use so it, overpowered. I use it for lava rooms, um, so I don't drop my earth rooms. Yeah. And... Seen um that thing on Rune like where blast blast mining it has like where you don't stand and stuff, so you don't get hurt and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh like yes. I Wait, what the fuck. Yeah, like, he, he, he like highlights in red and green where you stand and that way you don't stand and stuff. It's so oh bloody God. stupid. I think there was a fine line between convenience and a buff. And third party clients have just pushed and pushed that line. And now you'd be at a severe disadvantage for playing vanilla. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're not wrong. Yeah, at least for certain. For me, yeah, they've gone too far, but I don't know if anything can be done about it. Um, I think it's too late. In my opinion, they're yeah. still going on. They still, they're yeah, pushing. yeah, they're still pushing. Yeah, I, I really want them to. Calm. They're not going to calm down. I wish they did, because one day I'm afraid Jai is going to ban all for public clients. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my FPS optimization because the other client has shit FPS. I'm going to yeah, screen markers in, in the client, just really nice. They should make their own client. They really should just make their own client. Like yeah, they should make, the, make their own client make better own. and then yeah. ban third party. Look, I think everyone would be happy if, we, if everyone had a high school's look up, a uh, hop world thing, yeah. XP yeah. tracker, uh, bank value thing, and I don't care about, I don't think farming tick should be allowed, to be honest. I like yeah, it, it should be bare bones. It should be just. Just bare bones. It's interesting and... stuff. I, I, I won't care if they remove the Yeah, that should be removed. Overlaid. I was doing some agility uh, in the vanilla client earlier, and I, th I thought it was quite nice. It was a little bit more engaging. I like I misclicked once or twice. It's refreshing. Like, that never happens. Yeah. So if they said right now, like, um, no one can ever use the clients again. Would you guys like that or no? No, I'll just get used to it. Cause at the moment, I'm only doing nights at Nightmare Zone and Redwoods or Hunter. So I don't I'd be fine because I'm not playing this game competitively. But there'd be a lot of people that would just have to stop playing competitively because they'd be too far behind without a third-party client. No. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't do it. I think they. I don't think I'm they can just say straight up stop using it because there's so many features lacking from their own client. Yeah, but um, if they were to take the necessary steps to make their own client adequate, I wouldn't mind them. And, uh, yeah, me too. They, they yeah. said it's going to take three months off updates just to make a client. I think everyone would be fine. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, but like, well, an XP tracker and a high school thing, I don't care. There's everything I need. Yeah. I just like looking at people. I like looking people up. <laughs> yeah. What about the days though? Do you remember, like back in the day, where you'd see someone. Oh, he's level 122. Let's let's look him up, and you'd you'd have to open another tab, type in higher scores. Like for me, like I don't know, that was that was what I signed up for when I came to old school. I still do that sometimes. I never did that. I, I never I did that. that. I never did that. Uh, I, I remember clicking that. on the world map as well, and another window come up. What do you know? What I'll do now, I'll look them up yeah. and I'll check the CML page, and that's it. That's all the closest thing I'll do. Look them up on CML and look up. Yeah, they the HP. Gotta check the yeah, their, their, their high scores isn't enough. Only their HP matters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the the sidebars from like conduit or uh, OS Buddy or something. I think I think the high scores there is is adequate. Like, really to show that EHP is also quite interesting. That's nice. And we've talked about it in the last podcast, but yeah, if a new new old school old school server came out, I I'd, I'd go to it. Like I I don't like all these conveniences and. 
Yeah, I That's don't think I enough. would, to be honest. I, I would appreciate, I would appreciate the, um, like, I, I'd appreciate people who would want to, and, and I understand the sentiment of it, but I don't know. I, I personally, the game right now is the most fun I've ever had on RuneScape. That's so. fair. Yeah, I really like the, uh, the game right now. I really like the way it is, and I mean, I would enjoy the old school version, and I probably uh, played if it came out right now. I don't think they would do it because not enough people would play it, and I don't think they care enough about. Um, they don't really like, call it old seven anymore. They just call yeah. it old school. So. Not even old school. Yeah. We need another word. I'm fine with the way it is right now, but I'm scared that it will um, uh, go a bit too far in the future. For like RuneScape four or something. <laughs> RSK with all the EOC. That's where we're at right now. Huh? No. So yeah, I just wanted to mention one last thing before we move on. Um, I actually saw a Twitter post this morning. I follow a, a guy named Lars. Um, he's a former Max Ironman um, who de-ironed, and he kind of plays right. the game a little bit casually now. Um, so he uh, he's into coding and stuff like that. So he said. Especially when he's uh, he has a little bit less responsibilities this summer, he uh, he w intends to make a client, his own client, um, basically with the goal of making the most overpowered plugins and uh, overlays possible. Essentially, just to kind of show the extents of third-party really clients. I'm glad he's taken yeah. it into his own hands to emphasize the point. So I think I'm really looking forward to uh, how Ember how that falls goes. aloud and everyone moves <laughs> to them. <laughs> looking forward to yeah. it, uh, abusing that. <laughs> and abusing it, yeah. Get the squeal of fortune overlay. No, it'll just be interesting. To... <laughs> yeah, it'll just be interesting if, if it actually gets a, a statement out of the yeah. J mods or, or, or what yeah. people have to say about it. So. Do you think you guys would play as much if third-party clients were banned and we had to play vanilla as there is now? No. Yeah, I would play as much, but it would really feel like uh, like it would take me a long time to get used to because like whenever an update has, happens, I really feel handicapped. So that would not go away for a while, I think. But I could get yeah, used I to it. I think, yeah, yeah. I I would feel like a little bit like a lot of people had like such a big advantage then. I'm I'm looking at the Twitter that uh, Luke just uh, talked about. <laughs> He wants That's to do funny, make yeah. an Inferno Helper, Zora Helper, Sleep <laughs> Helper, Guard Wars Dungeon, Pray Flick, Flick Helper. Oh, they don't already and have that on like some kinds. He wants to, he wants to make this. And the funny thing is, this would all be like uh, normal yeah. when compared to other clients right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. All those helpers, just hey, pray this, pray this. Yeah. Like, like imagine you're doing this. Cerberus, imagine you're doing Cerberus, and over top of the three ghosts is yeah. a, a melee icon. Uh, and a, a big big words will come up on the screen exactly like melee now <laughs> magic now <laughs> that will actually be pretty and really like quick, when you're quick clicking when you're clicking bandos it does like a little ghost <laughs> circle kind of around the prayer thing yeah, well, uh, the prayer. Yeah. Oh, so yeah i don't know it's really interesting like i said wait the big question is would you guys abuse that if it was like uh yes out? If it's if it's in the game, I I don't know. Maybe we can actually talk about this as a another question. But I uh, I kind of something I've been looking at or talking about for a little while now is um, something that I saw uh, Dead Wilson right. speaking about on Twitter. Um, I know we'll we'll talk a little bit more about um, certain features of of Iron Man updates and stuff later on in the podcast. But um, essentially, the whole premise of the the tweet that I saw was that if there's something in the game that you think is immoral or is uh, abusing something and it's still in the game and the, the J mods have said or haven't said anything about it or have said, yes, this is okay to use or we can't do anything about it yet. Um, do you think you should abuse that to gain as much as you can out of it? Or are you more a moral person and would you rather uh, stick to your morals and not abuse it. Oh, that's a good one. I don't have. I in a in a way, I don't really have uh, like that. I would probably abuse it because I would feel like uh, like I'm going for top yeah. ten HP Ironman, right? And I would feel like um, 
Like I would need to do that to get there because other people would do See. it too. I mean, it's kind of bad, but I would probably abuse it. Yeah. Yeah. It depends See, the thing is, like, you can be it sounds hypocritical and stuff. So you know, yeah, this thing is overpowered. I don't want this in the game. The same with me. Like, I want to go back to vanilla. I want to go back to bare bones. But I'm not gonna put myself at a disadvantage. Like, if these things are available, yeah. Like, I'd I'd rather yeah. do Ape Atoll, um, agility course instead of Ardy Roofs, just because that's where I have nostalgia from. That was old school for me. Yeah, but why would I do that? Yeah. 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 What do you think, Swift? I'm curious. What about the abuse thing? Yeah. Uh, morals just died years ago, True. so you don't abuse everything. I'm abusing right now, so... More on that yeah. to come. That's actually, it's, it's actually kind of the more I've spent around it. Like, it was very patchy for me. I was like, okay, this is this is immoral, this isn't immoral, this is immoral, this isn't... So it was I kind used of to be like, like that was when I first died, but then... But then you kind of, I don't know, I just kind of realized, like... Dude, I don't know. Like, if you if you, if we go back and look at the six yeah. hour nightmare zone with Guffins, I'll do it. Like the people who did it. Yeah. Holy fuck, they're so far ahead. Like. Yeah. Things. I mean, um, Hexus or Wolf, if you used to do it, you kicked from the clan here. Really? Um, if it if it was if it was now, everyone would, everyone would call you retarded if you didn't do six hour nightmare zone. Yeah, it changes. Yeah. So it's so weird. Yeah. Kicked from. If I if I started back then, I'll do six hour nightmare zone. I would not care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Competition's competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I had a different mindset back then, so I didn't really feel it was necessary at all. But yeah, if I had if I had the same, uh, if I was in the situation now and that was available, I would I would do it as well. I think you're just dumb if you don't. It's like not class dumb, saying you're, just... you're not allowed to phone zone while in class. You get kicked. So like yeah, yeah, because it's immoral, right? So, I don't know. And I, I don't want to say like you're dumb for not doing it, but like there's no way you can. Be competitive if you don't abuse these things. So. Being being immoral is being efficient. <laughs> yeah, that's, true. Yeah, that's, a, that's a fucking hard statement, but yeah. Morals in 2018? Yeah, yeah. I agree, even though I don't compete at all, except maybe some skilled weeks in the clan, but that's about it. Oh, skill of the week, it hit home for uh, me. Um, yeah. After the Zalron nerf, like that was the biggest nerf that we had at the start with the river. Um, and it's at that moment, like a lot of us realized when things come out that are morally wrong, but give us a massive advantage, take advantage of it. How many people were regretting leaving Zalron? Dude, yeah. as an as an Iron Man, I'm kicking yeah. myself for not doing 20k kills. Like, same. Yeah, I have an Iron Man. <laughs> a lot of people are scared so... of a similar scenario. Or yeah. I don't know if when I don't remember when it was nerfed, but I don't think. I More that's come to it. I think um, like anything within the RuneScape rules is uh, fine. I'm, I'll probably yeah. do it if I can. Yeah, I agree. As long as they haven't said confused. otherwise, I, yeah. I always get confused on the rule of bug abuse. Like, what if you find something and you just don't know what it is, but you're still like, you're doing it every day, but then you get that one for bug abuse, or you just test it out. I just, oh, it just always confuses me that sort of stuff. Does. Yeah, I, if you, I, it depends. If you kind of want to plead guilty and say like, oh, you know, technically I didn't do anything, like, sure, go go ahead and like abuse it. But... I don't think you should get perm banned for it though. Yeah, no. Obviously, it's very subjective, but like, for for example, do you remember the um, the the glitch with the duel arena where um, Iron Man were able to take other people's items? No. There was a glitch where you could essentially duel someone on your Iron Man uh, for like a stake, essentially. So like, people were able to trade God Swords onto an Iron Man account. Um, and the people who like made the videos to like show that hey this is happening like like hello like showing everyone, but I mean they got they got banned. I mean like, you can argue that tick manipulation is bug abuse, so you don't it's like so it, the bug abuse rule is so like thin. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really obviously obviously the Iron Man thing that's obviously that's straight ban like, obviously it's against yeah, yeah. Sort of the mode. Yeah, that's obvious though. Like, <laughs> I mean like. 
if you find a new method or something, then you might either, and then you get banned for bug abuse, but then you could argue, well, take my locations, bug abuse. Yeah. So how do you guys so feel weird. about, um, how do you guys feel about this? There was like an Iron Man, and he was in the clan, and they were um, specking down Corp for him, and he was doing a RD Roost, like agility, and then waiting for the team members to uh, spec down Corp. Oh and then he did it himself. So that's actually what I had in mind when I asked the question. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like he's he's smart for taking advantage of it, dude. I have nothing else to say. Yeah, I think the same. But I do think that should be like that's that should be against the rules. I think. Right? Yeah. So I I totally agree. I think Jagex is responsible for doing something about it. I totally agree. It shouldn't be in the game. It's dumb. Even like yeah. like things like six hour nightmare zone should never have been in the game. But since it is in the game, take advantage of it, else you're done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> More on taking advantage to come later. So. Yeah. Uh, so this week's Q and A saw the J mods getting excited over a potential new group activity skilling. Uh, thieving, herblo, and construction were all discussed. Uh, they discussed these methods being similar to Winter Todd. What are you guys' thoughts on these potential new methods for skilling? Wait, what? Surprise! I've even watched the yeah, spoiler. Yeah, I forgot about this one. I didn't watch the other. Okay, I I was a little had a strong opinion on this, so I can explain it just a little bit if you want. But um, the so essentially, mostly it was talking about a Herbler mini game, um, which was supposed to be something similar to Winter Todd in the terms of again, we don't know how the mechanics will work or whatever. But essentially, it's it's a mini game where you train your skills. Now, there's, they talked a little bit about okay, maybe you'll have to actually use raw resources, like you'll have to use herbs and stuff in the mini game, sure. Um, but the fact is, it essentially makes another way to train a viable as a gathering skill. And in the terms of Iron Man, Herblore is one of the most I guess highly regarded skills on an Iron Man, and you could argue that it's gone downhill in terms of oh wow, raids give so many herbs, and um, you know there's so many different methods uh, of getting herbs and seeds now in the game that it's already been devalued. But the fact is that you still have to get the raw resources on an Iron Man, and if this yeah. mini games gives you raw herblore XP, that completely makes any resource gathering of herblore supplies completely irrelevant on an Iron Man. So I, yeah. I will be mo voting hard no on this. Yes. Yeah, it's actually kind of disgusting. Yeah. That's all I was going to vote yes, lah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, what did you say, Dodo? I think it's disgusting they consider her. I think it's going to make you all squirm, now. but. Yeah. This yeah, is going to. It's actually fucking retarded. If they actually want to make a winter top version of Herbal Construction, with which I understand is a kind of gatherer, right? Because winter top is kind of a gatherer. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's the same thing where it made turn fire making, which was technically a viable. Like, yeah. fair enough, it's probably the least viable of all of them, but it's still a viable. So they made yeah. that into a gatherer skill. Yeah, it's really yeah. stupid. They should stop it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to pass. It will be a thing. Oh, I'll, I'll yeah, make like 10,000 accounts to vote no, but uh, no. Um, um, for, for Iron Man, the herb wars is actually yeah. disgusting. It's yeah. it's really upset me how they weren't even yeah. think like I saw the mods uh, like they, they don't were give talking a about fuck. it and it's not a single nice. one, not a single one said something about what it. What did the it. mods think about it? They were happy, like they, they were excited. Some of them liked it, man. They were like, they were like, yeah, you know what? I really like this. So like, excited. Rock, it wasn't Rock. No, it was Mod West. Mod West. Yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. Archie too. Uh, <laughs> fucking angry, man. Oh, like, actually, for, no, boys, for, for for main accounts, <laughs> if all your construction, the hero fuck that shit, fuck that bullshit. Thieving, yeah. fine, yeah, go, go put another Thieving Queen in the island, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to make it another method of training, like yeah. a gatherer, that's a different story. Yeah, Thieving is cool. If construction, <sighs> if it's construction, like 80k XP an hour, right? 80k XP an hour wins a toad. I would fine, fuck it, do it, right? I think that's alright. But, but there's a fine line then between making something that's dead content and something that's, mm. like, overpowered. You, If you make it... 80 yeah. kxp per hour construction, nobody will do it. It'll be completely dead content. Ultimate. If you say AFK, people would do it. Ultimate diamond. In an hour, you think people would yeah. do it? Yeah, I said, I said before I was doing 99 construction, if this, if 
There's an AFK myth for 100k and it's super loud. I'll do it any day of the week. People don't like <laughs> Construction, you have to keep clicking. People don't like it. Exactly. Like, yeah. people get devaluation wrong. They think. They, some people just think, oh, if it's higher XP now, that means it's devalued. It just depends on the method itself. Yeah. ADK was just an idea. That's my idea. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. When it comes to balance, uh, I, don't, I don't know. And since you were talking about the uh, Herbler for Iron Man, I'm using all my XP lamps on rune crafting instead of Herbler <laughs> on Iron Man. Yeah, efficient now, yeah. Uh, because of, for example, raids and potential other updates that will make it even easier. You're ahead of us, uh, Var, in that aspect. Oh, I need to beat the yeah. shit out of Mod West. <laughs> well, it's true, like, you almost have to play in, in terms of, uh, do you want to, do you want to play how you think the game will be in five or ten years? Or do you play how the meta is mm. now? Like, yeah. I don't know, there's a fine line. <laughs> Yeah, no, it'll be a no In my opinion, uh, Thieving could definitely get a buff uh, for the lower levels. Uh, I've been training Thieving on my alt and my Iron Man recently, and it is fucking hell for the lower levels. You just said that you'd play an old old school server with blackjack and stuff, but then you just asked for an easy an I don't like them. Thieving method. Like I, I, li I like I like the the higher XP rate, even methods, the old school, but I don't like. I don't like the. No, I, I mean like. Before. What is it, 65? I don't know. The quest till then? It's 45, you quest, yeah. You, you quest to 37, then you do plunder to 45. Plunder to 45. You else, you have, have you done plunder at that level? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Yeah, alright, let's do it. You fail everything. Well, you just said you wanted to play the old school way, then you want something else, don't you? Stop just saying okay. that you're a bit of a hypocrite. Yeah, but we're not, we're not I mean, playing... Fair, like, I, I get it. We're not playing vanilla, though, are we? Like, I, w I would like yeah, it to go yeah, back to vanilla, but we're not, I mean, so... I think I can contribute my opinions yeah. to updates that this game is getting. Actually, uh, something else. Um, I think Winter Toad is yep. kind of bullshit. And now we're about to get three more. Uh, it, it's too, in it's too integrated into the game right now to, like, not think of it anymore. I do imagine it's not here because I never played back then. But Volcanic Mine is a great update. I actually like it a lot. I, I never yeah. do it. I've done it a few times only with friends. I actually like it in the game. It's I really a healthy alternative to mining. I really love. It. That too, XP is a bit too high. Yeah, in my opinion. I'd agree with them. I think it's just fine. Like, the, whole, the whole idea is is so good. I think it's really great. Yeah, it's I just like the XP might be a bit too much. And what else was it? The kudo requirement that's just fucking retarded out of out of their fucking mind. Like what? But they are turn taking. Yeah. Let's have a balance it though with the kudo requirement. Yeah, it, it's just retarded how volcanic mine for high level players is. I think the only thing on Fossil Island that's relevant. <laughs> And it put a 180, 150 kudo requirement on it, like, what the fuck? Havard was right, though, they're, no. they're changing it's it quite a lot of next week, island, week by the way. for, uh... There's... There's... Yeah. They're lowering the thing. I just like the Fossil Island, there's... the Volcanic Mind style content, not the Winter Toad yeah, style wait, content. Wait, you can get 150 kudos without anything yeah. Fossil Island related, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think mm. I have 155 or something, so... I mean, when I got the kudos for it, it didn't take long at all, really. To like six hours, four, four, five hours, one half hours. Yeah, I think it was you worth. can do it. In, you can do it in four hours if you do the wood yeah. cutting. Yeah. yeah, the wood cutting yeah. is actually really nice, man. Yeah, that, that's for wood cutting. I like that. The fastest non um tick. That's what I like. Like hip ball was added. Um, the drift net fishing. Uh, the volcanic mine, and the silicep mushrooms or whatever. Um, they aren't meta. But the fun content, the the different like I really like the direction that they're going with skilling, and I hope that these proposed Winter Todd style group activity type things with thieving, herb law, and construction, I hope they under the HP by quite a bit for those skills. Um, I wouldn't mind the thieving one being about two hundred k, 
I think there's a. I think they could do something really fun with thieving. Actually, like a group group thieving skill sounds pretty cool. I would love that because, like, I hate every thieving method right now. Plunder's a group yeah, thieving it method. It is, but it's it's not. It is, but it's it's not, is it? Like, it it's better in a team, but yeah, it's optional. It should always but be don't, optional. Don't do the group activity. Do group activity it's less XP. Do plunder is better XP. <laughs> Like, I, I might get blackjack thieving until 99, but I'm hoping they add a new method, that's why I'm only 82 thieving right now. 99. Alright, so moving on from the Q&A to the J mods. Uh, do you watch the Q&As, and if so, what are your opinions on how they currently run? Are there any J mods that particularly stand out that you like or dislike? I watch and I don't watch podcasts anymore because I think they're so boring. And I, just hate, I think I hate the questions yeah. most of everything. Like they're all so cringy, and then you always get well. Even Ash, he's like signing on me because he sort of sometimes he just he doesn't really give an opinion. He just yeah. says I'll do it if, it if it if the community wants it. But yeah. it's just people with hardy questions. What stop watching the podcasts? But I, like, I, like I feel like it's a chore to watch them. I don't. I don't really enjoy them that much. Like I just sit there listening to questions. Like, can we get a recolor of the norms norm scarf? Like I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. I actually oh. wait. I actually like that suggestion. I heard it. Oh, <laughs> I would love to see a recolor of the norm scarf. I've got a get one from Solomon nice Star. Yeah. Um. I don't know. In in my opinion, something that stands out is <clears throat> I would love to see someone else hosting Preach. the Q and A at least Preach. once in a while. I think oh, yeah, I love Archie. I I don't want to like follow the bandwagon yes. and say Archie shit, yeah. but like uh, some of the questions that he brings to the table are just extremely irrelevant and literally yeah. meme questions when it's supposed to be. A time for actual discussion and, and questions that people can learn from. Um, yeah. Just some he of the questions. Like, Pardon? He, he wasn't there one of the times that someone else hosted. Who was that? Was that? Uh, what yeah, was I remember that. Yeah, so, it, yeah. Was, it was actually a great Q and A. Kieran, Kieran has hosted and it once, didn't I believe, Ronan? as well. Um, yes. And those have both been fine. I think they should do a rotate. I think he did. Uh, um, Ron... Yeah. But I think, in my opinion, they should do at least a rotation through. I don't like. I, I get that mod that Archie's done it for so long, but I think they should do a rotation yeah, that's, that's through fair. the host. Like it adds a variety of questions. I completely agree. Yeah. How different people. Yeah. I mean, Archie doesn't care one thing. Well, this might be a bit biased. But maybe yeah. He doesn't care one thing about skin or anything. Maybe he hears something about quality. Like, so, oh yeah, that's great. The PK and star is great. Yeah, right. yeah, that's 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 why though. Like RG yeah. is clearly very PvP oriented, so having someone like that hosting a Q and A every single week, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, he rotating in different mindsets sometimes. would be would yeah. be great. Yeah. I, I mean, it's quite weird how PvP is like the lowest thing like we like cared about in the game, but the guy who hosts it is the guy who cares about PvP. It's just it's so I, weird. I wish... I wish they had someone that could yeah, that'd be really that good. understand a lot of the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not, like, yeah. Not that I know. No, I don't believe so. There's a uh, mod rock has a hardcore. He's good. I'd like to see him step up. A uh, winter tub. Take on some bigger responsibilities. Yeah, yeah but like, like, like rock. he said, look, I get a job with a P degree there, so I might become mod swift one day. Mod swift. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. But, I yeah. just would I like to see an Iron Man one, to be honest, that would understand the problems. Like, okay, More yeah, they that. fixed Corp K, but think about other things that's even worse, you know? Like, Gold War some stuff you'd... as an Iron Man, so... They're taking, they're taking some steps towards fixing certain things. I feel, so, like, yeah. But I feel like the Iron Man game is like the only, like, sort of... 
old school mode left kind of. like sort of like although it's been a lot. You, you still do things the hard way. You still do things the hard way, like yeah. mazes. Oh. We have a uh, we have another question on the Q and A about that, yeah. or sorry, yeah. on, the, on the podcast about that later on. So. I heard Randalicious say that Marachi is <laughs> kind of like in control of this game. Like it's basically his game. He decides the updates. He he decides what gets pulled. And I just don't think that's you know what we what it's meant to be. It's meant to be our game. And I I don't even yeah. you might disagree with this, but I I don't even like them like nerfing certain things without pausing it, like. Like Zalra was like, if yeah. that's what the community wants, if the community wants a boss that you can kill at three mil an hour, then let it be. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know when there was like a Q, uh, quality of life month, I honestly think week three the PVP one was a waste of yeah. a week. Yeah, I didn't even vote. Well, not that week. I was like, we didn't do anything to make the game. Like I don't know. I I, I didn't even vote, and that's like the only poll I haven't voted in in months. I don't even I don't even vote in polls ever anymore. I do vote them. I usually just spam no, all very the early questions. Right now. When there's when there's something I think that is important, then I do vote. Uh, or if it's something I like, really don't want to pass, like some stupid ass update. Like it is really yeah. depressing when you vote on the poll and like you so passionately vote no on like three accounts, and then you look at the results and it's passing by like ninety four. Yeah. You're just like the fuck wrong with you all. I'll be like that when you vote yes for <laughs> thieving mini game. Like, I would vote yes for thieving minigame. Plunder's actually a minigame. I don't care about yeah, that. Yeah. That's stupid. No one does Nobody it. does it because knights are out. No one does it. Once they nerf knights, you know, I don't like plunder. I plunder the other day, actually. It's quite fun. I don't like it. I, I forced myself through 15 hours of only doing the chest. But the, you shouldn't yeah, like true. everything in the game, though. That's what I don't get about. I like blackjacking, like oddly enough. Game. Well, well I can't stand mining, but I still don't have to do mining. It's all subjective, but I don't think you should be selfish and think, oh, I want this because I don't like the skill. You should think Are there about any the actual mods that stand out for you guys, by the way, that you really like or really dislike? No, they're all shit. I like Moldash. <laughs> Yeah, I like Rock and Kieran personally. Rock, Rock has grown on me a lot. He used to be like yeah. Matt, who's just kind of another gym out there, but yeah. recently he's kind of shown his uh, his knowledge yeah. for the game, and he has a lot, a lot to offer in discussion. And then I think Kieran yeah, yeah, is just yeah. hands down one of the best discussion mods. So. Yeah. Rock yeah, is like the high level hero. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's in Totus, so I was uh, I've spoken no quite a bit in the Totus Discord. He he just listens. Is he, anyone actually listens to the HLC? Even uh, the HLC. Yeah. Although Monaiza can give some pretty decent answers sometimes, I really I don't have any respect for him. Like he doesn't he doesn't play this game. He doesn't know anything about this game. Like. Professional like I don't know. Like I, I, don't, I don't. I wouldn't say you have to be a serious player, but I mean, at some point, kind of like he doesn't know anything about this game. He has like no game knowledge, and I, I, I really don't think that someone like that should be representing Jagex on a Q and A. Like he's essentially representing a community too. He's uh, he's the community well, manager, not. Him and Sween, they kind of take and care yet of he's yeah, the most, like he's, he's, he's the, the, the community best. manager or whatever, and yet he's the most arrogant mod out of them all. He doesn't even play this game, and he's so fucking arrogant. Like, try, try and tweet, try and tweet him. Like, he'll never reply. You, you... I've, uh, 
Did he I reply? I actually tweeted him about the Herbert really? again uh, last week, and he actually, he actually replied to me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, he actually he's more talks into discords and stuff more than anything. He actually he's actually yeah, in the he's... HLC Discord, and he always replies to things. So, so I actually have a slightly different. Uh, take I've on seen a lot of people tweet him. Um, I I think he came. I think he came into his job not knowing anything, and I don't think that is how you should have. Uh, someone yeah. enter the the J mod position. I think they should at least have a base understanding, like you said. I think you can agree with that. Um, I think he has taken steps to kind of start at least uh, understanding a little bit more, and at least that I can respect. Um, and and the one thing I can can give him credit for is he does at least uh, he he. I think he listens to people like in terms of obviously it's his job to, to understand what the community wants and stuff like that but i think he does go out of his way to at least try and listen to what people want whether he not whether or not he can actually apply that to to certain uh scenarios and the polls and, and he does he does, does not understand thing, but i think he does listen to people so. who where's john yeah, maybe that's john just, maybe that's a short point where's i don't john see much of john c yeah, like, what I was really surprised yeah, about was that um, they had like an introduction or whatever uh, to some of the mods and things that you don't know about me. And I, I think he said he was like uh, rank 5 or something, OSRS near the beginning, before you, before you went to Jagex. Yeah. Rank no, 3, yeah. Oh, oh, John C, yeah, he was like rank 3 at the time or something. Pretty surprised. But out, but out with Hunter and Mining. He's yeah, he was, the account's called Jonathan. You can still look it up now. Yeah, he's so he was so close uh, to maxing, but he just stopped. Hell yeah, but that's who everyone used to. But I don't I don't know why he's not on key and A's anymore. I, I think it's because he's working on mobile. Probably. Yeah, that's, that's the last. Another mod I'd like to speak TV about is mod Ghost. Um, despite him being very boring on the Q and A's, I think. I think his graphics are really, really cool. Like he's a really good artist, but I feel yeah. I don't know, like I he doesn't fit old school, but in the direction this game's going he might. Like this game is progressing to more of a two thousand and eleven type RuneScape, two thousand twelve, as opposed to two thousand seven, so yeah. I think his graphics are really cool. I kind of agree with you there, actually. I I would say hands down that Ghost is oh, yeah. a much better artist. Head and shoulders. Than, uh, West. The thing about West that I don't <laughs> like is the fucking the fact, retard. <laughs> the fact that I like I, I I don't want I don't really take his opinion seriously because he's an artist, uh, and maybe that maybe that's my fault. But um, the, his artwork, at least, a lot of his artwork mm. that he's created, like the armors, the Justicar armors, for example. Yeah, he's, he's had to pretty bad. Them. Like they just straight up shit when he makes yeah. the first design of that. He just straight up scraps the first design and then just goes off. You know the, the major arena two bosses. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, uh, Ghost designed the Zami and Guthix one, which are really, really fucking cool. And West, yeah, yeah, it was so bad. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait, I have to see them. The new ones, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's like, the man uh... who decided on my <laughs> project to want to do a redwood shield. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wait, wait, Fuck I, to... yeah. <laughs> I think we can all agree that West is <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Slaughter him. <laughs> Yeah. I just don't think he's a great artist. Hey guys, what are you doing for your personal project? Yeah, I'm gonna make a red real shield, wow. bro. Yeah, it's gonna be mine. Is he actually? Jesus. He's already, in the, he's already in the game! <laughs> <laughs> Is there a red real shield? Yeah. 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 Red he, like, he had like the eyes to it and stuff. No, it's he, dead content. It's not even a good method to train. You've had like oh, nails, nails. Nails. Yeah. Oh, I, I think it's a 15. Or. 12 or 15 tick action to make the shield. I have no idea why. I thought magic was the highest shield. I have no idea why. <laughs> but, anyways, I don't know. He went I in the game, the next day, no one knew what it was. I still got one in my bank. Someone gave it to me and dropped it. 
No, I was just surprised to hear that it would last out of use. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, what? No. They it, useful? it didn't change the price whatsoever. All right. So on the topic of mods, let's go from J mods to P mods. Do you think there are enough P mods in the game? Are they needed? And do the current P mods actually do anything? So I think the I think personally P mods are a little bit outdated in the fact that what what they're responsible for I guess now they really have no power in the game and they kind of just flaunt the uh, the symbol around. Um, yeah. Almost like a glorified Iron Man. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think one of the things I think it was Sween, I believe, actually uh, spoke about this um, on one of the Q and A's recently, basically saying that they want to do something with them and essentially make the P mods give them a little bit more responsibility and have them be in charge of community events um, rather than yeah, be cool. rather than, yeah. than what they do now, which is essentially nothing. So I agree with uh, with doing that, but I think I have, uh, right if now. I was a P mod and I wouldn't want if, and uh, like Oscar or something, Oscar wouldn't want to host an event. He only cares about getting two hundred mil. So yeah, for it, sure, that's, it's quite subjective. Yeah, and yeah, it wouldn't be everyone, but I'm sure they would be yeah. invited to to discuss yeah, yeah. and whatnot. So. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know any. If, I don't know who the P mods are. Well, I thought I everyone back in the day knew who the P mods were. <laughs> I think they're yeah. a bit weird, like, um, I don't know, I feel a little bit aggravated whenever I see one, because they're always just fucking e-dating, um, it's, it's always like three people or something, just following each other, dancing and stuff, and just e-dating, and I'm really glad that they've changed it now so that when your public is on friends, you don't see, you get fucking spammed. A couple of weeks ago. Oh, so. wait, when did they change that? Well, last Thursday. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Wait, yeah. Zico, didn't you recently complain about that? Yeah, I have a lot of people on my list. Like, a little bit honest. before. I have a lot of people on my list. Yeah, so... <laughs> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to block James as well when they come in CCs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's just how they yeah. always say hi, and like you, they expect you to respond to them. If you, they expect you to be look up to them and like, oh, fuck off, leave me alone, you prick. <laughs> this is coming from his Omnia, where nobody talks in the CC for the whole day. Hell yeah, bro. I like quiet. <laughs> Only relevant chat in the There's There is one <laughs> that I really respect. I think his name is Jake, with two E's on the end. Uh, he's a P mod, and I think he's I think he's top page, maybe second page. Um, no, he's OSRS. He used to play R3. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I, I think he's a really, really good player. And when when there's new people that join, yeah, I think PMODs are good people um, to, to help the newbies and stuff. And I think Jake's a really good example of that. Like, someone who's good at the game, someone who's helpful and talkative and doesn't just flood your chat box with e-dating. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think you know, uh, if, if I you think... know Thanks from Oblivion PBM too, he's uh, a yeah. good mod and he's extremely helpful. So. I think, yeah. Yeah, he could. I've come to him a few times. Didn't get rank one on RS3, like when Suami was one XP or some, whatever XP was off. Jake didn't get 200 mil or all either, oh, so he yeah, yeah. Suami got it. Then Drumgun nicks it all off on the prick. <laughs> so yeah, Jake's a nice guy. I think that's the right one anyway. I so know. I think uh, like Jake should be a PMO then, but sometimes like I remember like a couple of years ago, I used to hang out in like Mark CC, and people would literally like suck up yeah, to him, and they would get the PMO. And I think that's very very wrong to go about it. They're giving out PMOTs just because they're in their friend chat and being nice to them when they don't even like, uh, like they're just like sucking up to them and then they get a PMOT. I, really, I feel like really I don't want to be a PMOT. Like, I, want, I, want, I want to tell someone to fuck Do off. You guys remember so why? I'll be fuck off. I don't care. Yeah. Be, remember? Should be allowed to swear as a PMOT. Do you remember why yeah, Davi Das yeah, got his PMOT? He he was basically a content creator. Got invited to Jagex Studios for a tour. 
went to the tour and they said, oh, by the way, we're going to give you a PMOD status. Yeah, it's more of a thing like, oh, we like that's, you, you're nice that's guy, you're famous here, you have a PMOD. <laughs> yeah, compared to what you actually do and contribute to the game, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you can argue that like, you, you could be shown as a role model because people wouldn't know who he is, yeah. so... Yeah, I don't see. I don't see. I, I don't think big they issue well enough. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't want a random to tell me like, like a people random to try and tell me what to do. Yeah, I, I just don't like um, <laughs> famous people and just get being given benefits because I think they have enough already. Yeah, it's in a way also like a little bit understandable. I mean, not with the PMO things, but like, um, for example, like promoting the live streamers. Yeah. Like, it's understandable, right? Yeah, they're the ones who bring business and publicity to the their game, right? So, yeah. I, right. I, so I get that. on my screen, you'll see me spamming Audi Knights. Let's do with the next question. Uh, there's been a there's been a new suggestion to potentially nerf Audi Knights. Do you guys think this is the correct thing to do? And is it fair to put so much valuation on a method? People are spending 16 hours plus a day at Ardy Nights because they're scared of missing their chance. Yeah, it's fine. It's fun. I don't mind. You think they should I'm actually it? happy that they didn't do something with it. I'm not sure what they're gonna do about it, but I do think, um, uh, yeah. like, they should make it so you can't auto click it, and that's all they should do. I I think, because yeah, that was the most good. annoying to me. People just like botting 200 mil and not getting banned for it. Yeah. That's what really triggered me. I think that should be avoided, but I think it should still like be like really yeah. okay for like five minutes, and then you have to do like a couple of clicks. And I think yeah, that's how they should go about it. I agree. I think as long as they take away the the ability to auto click it, um, it's fine pretty much. I think they were proposing coin purses or something like that, or yeah. essentially yeah. making making the coin purses stack okay. like dark essence. If you've ever done Zaya Zaya mining, so it stacks, but up to a certain amount. So you can only have say twenty seven or something coin purses in your inventory at one time um, before you'd have to actually. Uh, right click op open them for example I don't know exactly how it works but I would I think I would like that uh... I would like that I would like that if it was quite AFK so where you would only have to click like every four minutes or something I hope they don't do it like every 30 seconds yeah like, and, because yeah, I, maybe... I don't think the legit players should get ruined um, like I don't think it needs to change for legit like for the legit players I only think it should be changed for the people that's like that's what made me angry. People just auto clicking it to two hundred mil yeah. and then not getting banned for it. That abuses that you can auto click it without getting banned. Yeah, and there's quite a few people that actually did that and are still. There's a lot of people that did that. Yeah, and I, I like it actually devalued TV too. Whenever I saw, like it might be bad, but whenever I saw someone two hundred mil TV, there was always like the possibility, or oh, they are. Uh, they might have just auto clicked it. Yeah, it's not even special. And, honestly, yeah, I think to make it honest. fair. So yeah. that people don't lose um, potential of thieving or whatever, they don't lose ranks because they haven't trained thieving yet. I think to make it fair, I think it'd be justifiable to um, make it so that you stop thieving after five minutes. Like you, if your inventory fills up with coin purses after five minutes or the one coin purse or whatever fills up after five minutes and it says that it's too full. Um, that would that would yeah. probably prevent auto clicking, or at least it make it a lot less convenient. And um, I think that would be the right thing to do. Uh, yeah. But I hear the suggestion that the coin purse is going to be like thirty eight seconds or something like that. So you stop thieving after thirty eight seconds, which I think is ridiculous. Like that's really unfair, and it puts a lot of pressure on people. Yeah, stupid. Well, too much. I would do blackjack saving that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm one of the people, as I said earlier, that uh, is abusing it yeah. right now. Like so I said, I'm just... five levels away from max, and I'm thieving. So, 
I, I'm putting a really high valuation on the method, like you said, um, because I feel like it's never going to be even close to as easy as this. And I get for, for Iron Man, technically, I shouldn't even be doing this. I should be doing Gem Knights, which is the Tazars, um, yeah. for, for Tockle, which mm -hmm. you can essentially exchange for gems and get crafting XP. Yeah. But it's just so easy to me at night. I value that over the crafting right now. So that's why I'm doing it until the next happens. I understand that. Actually, uh, I'm doing R9. It's not because of the thing. It's just because I'm planning to do it as 299 and I don't give a shit about the nerf. <laughs> uh, I look at my screen and I don't mind. Uh, what's it like? I don't, I don't mind clicking on a purse every 14 thieves or you, 18 thieves. You feel thieves. pressured though to do it now while it's convenient? Yeah. No, I was actually not feeling okay. at all. I'm just feeling because of the podcast. I was feeling herbal and race. So, no, I'm, I'm I think for a lot of people, though, um, those that yeah, are competing for ranks, I'd say at least 60% of those uh, spamming knights. I don't worry. But I, I, don't, I just don't, I don't think that's a good thing. I just don't. They, they need to learn to to balance things, not just leave it for three years. I like how you. I like it that you, if uh, I have to do it or I regret it, I like it like that. <laughs> Means like yeah, I can see. Early, do I can more see hours for the nerf it. Use what you can. It's fun. Okay, so there's three Iron Men in this voice chat. So the next question is uh, pretty preferable for you. Uh, they recently added an Iron Man only corp curve, so that there's a lot of debate, uh, and there's a lot of debate on whether they should make other Iron Men only boss caves. What are your thoughts on Iron Men being crashed? Should there be a punishment, and should Jagex look to provide more Iron Man friendly updates? It's like they're making an Iron Man only server mode. They might as well make an Iron Man only world if it's going to be like that. <laughs> no, it's better with like the Iron Man instance where it's like a minimum requirement to go in and like, like Corp, you need to be an Iron Man with 85 combat plus right now. Oh, you, you pay to go in there or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, Iron Man to go I inside. Think the same. <laughs> Yeah, that's the same that happened to the corp should happen to God Wars because that's just as bad yet in Crash. What about Lizardman? Or even worse sometimes. Yeah. Shamans. Shamans well. are also one of them because they are crowded all the time. Uh, Fifty per or ninety-five percent <laughs> of the people there are Venezuelans trying to get food for their family, and then they're trying to get a Dragon Warhammer so I can continue PVM. And end up be like every Iron Man end up being stuck there. Yeah, people can say you can do on task, but if you go like, do. let's say twenty k drive of a Dragon Warhammer, do you really want to do like fifty mil Slayer XP or something? Yeah, yeah, I think so, there there should be some things, but like being crashed as an Iron Man, I don't um, mind if I'm being crashed because they can then take the kill and will be useful for themselves, right? But I. I do think like just hitting it once so I can get the drop and like no purpose for yourself. I think that's very wrong. And I'm glad they do like they do take action well, against that. Say that they yeah, do just... I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So... Yeah, they're saying it so to scare people, but usually they don't actually uh, do it, I think. So for me I think there's a very, very common misconception from a lot of Iron Man, in fact, and maybe maybe a couple of names, but obviously being an Iron Man, I understand. Um, well, I can see it from the point of a lot of other Iron Man, fellow Iron Man, uh, discussing it. So I think one of the common misconceptions is the mm -hmm. difference between crashing and ragging. Um, yeah. yeah. One of one of the things that they did with Corp, they changed it because of the ragging issues. There was a guy. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to name names, but there was a guy. He has a Twitter. 
um, and he was going around crashing. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake, that's my fire alarm, so hold on. Oh. You got, you got Rip Luke. Thought it was my fire alarm. I, I was yes. hoping it, it was his microwave. But yeah, that's a I like how he kept speaking. <laughs> okay, it's over. Um, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, okay, so the, anyways, there was this one guy, and I know there was not only him, but there's a mm. couple other people going around hopping worlds just to crash the Iron Man. Like they had no other, no other intention. They weren't trying to kill it for themselves. They weren't trying to get a world. They were just doing it to crash and reg the Iron Man. And uh, that is stupid. That oh, should have yeah, yeah, should, yeah. should been taken care of. Uh, uh, let, let me finish first, Sorry. Um So that they took care of that with the corp instance, changing changing the corp like they did. I am perfectly fine with that. God Wars changing the boss back to full HP when no one is in the room. I can also agree with that. I'm happy that they did that because it was a pain in the ass to go walk into a room when it's empty. You've been there for five minutes no one is inside the room and you walk in there and it's half killed and you're like well it was full hp how can it be half killed so um i i appreciate that they that they changed that however i don't think they should cater the game to iron man at all making iron man only updates is stupid they we we chose our accounts we knew yeah. at the game at the time of the account creation we knew what we were getting into. We knew exactly how the, it would affect yeah, well us. Said. Um, I mean, I'll let that. And I, I don't think we should cater the game uh, to us directly. Although I appreciate the updates that they did to prevent ragging. So, so my opinion is, my opinion is people are playing little free skillers. They're playing pures. They're playing defense pures. <laughs> they're playing whatever the fuck they want. They're playing. Yeah. Fucking Jason's account, <laughs> and people were and people mm. were play were able to play solo or Celeste or Iron Man as it's called now. Before the mode was officially supported by Jags and created, now it's made by Jags. They can't go back. So in my opinion, they they. In my opinion, Ooh. I'm sorry, Iron Man. I'm, in my opinion, Iron Man was a mistake, and it should have been an unofficial game mode forever, because no. now they they have to. Uh, because now they have to keep updating for Iron Man constantly. They yeah, have to I completely they I get just that, man. Say, no, nah, fuck you, you chose this. They have, to so fix things. they have to fix things, update things. I wouldn't play if it was like, I, I know, get that too, but it's yeah. been a really big success, I think, though. I know, it's a yeah. success. A lot of people want it. I actually like seeing Iron Man and seeing, oh, yeah. kind of Warhammer, and he's an Iron Man icon. Holy shit, he got himself, right? That's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the whole updating thing. Fuck, that's that's like a turn off, man. I I agree with you in the fact that um, they sometimes look to do I uh, updates specifically for Iron Man, which I don't think is a thing. I'm again, like Zekin said, one of the people that I wouldn't be playing. I can tell you 100, percent I would not be playing this game if it wasn't for Iron Man mode. Um, but I think what they are trying to do more or i hope they do at least is take iron man into consideration for updates like we mentioned with the herblore mini game uh winter todd thing they need to absolutely take how it's going to affect iron man into account so yes they do um need, need to do that but making our making iron man only updates or updates specifically catered towards iron man i think they should not do that or should stay away from that Wait, wait. It's not a like the updates they do to Iron Man. It's not a like they don't spend a lot of time on that or anything like that because they don't even give a fuck about the updates. Like they updated the Bandos healing thing where it like respawns, right? But the Binions doesn't even respawn. Like, so that doesn't take like a lot of dev time or anything away, and it isn't a problem. I mean, I don't. It's definitely not a biggest problem as making the boss regen, though. So and also, also one other thing uh, at Bandos, there's actually a like there's not a lot of people, but there's actually a few people that goes in. You know, they go in, they take the hit on an Iron Man's boss, use the altar, go out, get 40 KC, and repeat. That happened to oh me. God. 
three times by the same person in one day. Yeah, that guy should get banned mm -hmm. though. Like, not yeah, saying. Yeah. That's, that, that's ragging versus ragging, the crashing. That's not crashing. Yeah. Yeah. So. And also, you, I like people go in at the boss and just start hitting it every time, like every, like three kill, three trips or something. I get crashed, and it's also it's packed by people. So okay, finding a world is okay. I wouldn't mind that as long as like I didn't get crashed when I first spent twenty minutes finding a world. Well, the person who's crashing you doesn't know that. For me. Uh. Yeah, they do. Wow. People that crash Iron Man know, know that they are crashing an Iron Man. Because they are do they see that as a free world and they know it's packed at Bandos. They don't want to hop until they find an actual free world. So they crash an Iron Man. I honestly I'm don't think that's name is Dead Hawk Iron Man. I mean, no matter what you have as your name, you still get crashed quite a bit. Mines get crashed by other mines. I think, think that's yeah. fine though, yeah. Crashing is part of the game, to be honest. Yeah. As coming, coming from an Iron Man, I can tell you 100% changing my name from Iron Lugly or Iron Soul Lugly or whatever it was to Lug come, uh, reduced a significant amount of the crashing just because there was an incentive to solely crash the Iron Man. Mm -hmm. um, in another uh, topic, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just feel like uh, the difference between the the crashing and the ragging is, is super important for people just to take into consideration, um, because the crashing, like you said, Swifts has always been in the game. It doesn't only affect Iron Man. Mains get crashed too. It's it's part of the game. You can't. There's nothing. Yeah. You, know, you can do I mean, about it. It's it's sort of like, the morals. If your name but... had does has iron in, it's sort it's sort of like a meme for main players. Like, oh, your name's you got iron in your name. I'm gonna crash you just because. Mains mains and men have rivalries. Yeah, it's just it's just a thing of the game. So if you don't, if you want to get, you're always going to get crashed. But it depends if you if you really want your name as Iron Man or whatever, have Iron in your name, which I don't really really see why. Why people yeah. do that? Because you have the Iron Man logo now, so I don't really <laughs> see why you need to put Iron in your name. Oh, as that. Luke just said, he just said, he said he gets crashed less now because he doesn't have Iron in his name. I actually yeah. feel bad when I crash an Iron Man or attack his minion or boss. I'm like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were an Iron Man. Oh, okay, I don't me. give you a minute, anyway, so um, I don't really know how bad it is. I think Corp is needed. Corp is an exception. It's, uh, it takes a long time to kill an Iron Man. And it's completely different to every other boss. Every other boss takes minutes. I think Corp is needed, definitely. But, and they should draw the line. Yeah. Uh, like, let's say you go to Saradomin, right? You need to get yeah. either 40k uh, seed, that takes forever. So the mines. Or, yeah. um, or uh, get like your medical keys, right? That okay. takes a long time, and if you get yeah. crashed, okay, you can't so... do anything about it. Mains can't do anything about it. Yeah, mains would mains get crashed so just as much as I mean, probably, at God was Dungeon. Um... Yeah, you chose to play Iron Man, right? I chose to play the account, so you knew you going into. Yeah, I limited, like I limited my account, but I didn't. Uh, well, don't play an MMO then. PVM without getting crashed every three trip. What's your in-game name? What What's your in-game name? I mean, no matter, like even if I should switch my, like change my in-game name. Don't complain then. It would help. But I'm not going and to... about getting crashed, well, you're, you're playing an MMO, like, is it, yeah, it's online, like, you don't get an entire world to yourself, um, you share with other people, you know, you kind of expect to get crashed when you log into this game, regardless of your account type. Uh, I think crashing is part of the game, and there's nothing wrong, well, morally, but, yeah, like, in terms of getting banned, there's nothing wrong with crashing. But, yeah, as mentioned, ragging is completely different. And to be honest, I'd like to see ragging being treated the same uh, on a main, actually. like, um, Yeah, I think people ragging 
means is pretty bad. Should be punishable too. Wagon's wrong. Wagon's wrong, yeah. I completely agree. Out people just tag. Like, say if I went into. Say you were doing Sarah Domin and I just walked in and tagged it and then left. I, that, I should get banned for that. But if I came in and yeah. stole your kill and stayed in that world. Like and, killing but, birds or something. Who take I'm, peek? I, wagon. You, I, should, I should not get banned for that. It's competition for resources, like essentially at the end of the day, you're, you're competing for the kills on the God Wars boss for the loot. But another thing, what mate, this is probably what the like, main stink as well. They see an Iron Man in there, oh, he's probably damaged it as well. I don't want a boss, but I thought, I'm going to get the kill even if he's done all most of the damage. So I saved myself a few sharks. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting free loot basically. You... Yeah. Mate, main still get crashed, as in they still have to get 40 kills or get a key. It takes exactly. It's. it's... Different. Yeah, Iron Same. Man could get it on the first kill key. Main, it's no different. Yeah, you just the only thing you lose is your loot. <laughs> I think that's completely fine because you get a benefit to it, and like that's the difference in yeah. I think a good answer to it would be um, make it toggleable. Yeah. I'm a big fan of toggleables, but make it toggleable for Iron Iron Man to remove the symbol. Oh, Ooh. that's oh, I, I was thinking think. you were trolling about something, but it's actually quite a good one. Yeah. Um, wait, does that? Well, see. Wait, what, we, how oh, I just got the magma mutagen. Nice. Yeah, I it. Tortoise points. Congratulations. See. How 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 I am in changing the toggle of the uh, symbol? Like people still want to throw Iron Man. It's just people only know if you're Iron Man if your name is Iron or something. Or no, you so, so you're slaying, you right? You're, you're slaying like that uh, idea, Abby Demons and you're speaking to a friend. You're both meleeing Abby Demons and someone wants to rag you. Now I saw Fraser on Twitter. Uh, this happened to Fraser. Uh, he was just speaking to someone and some guy noticed he had an Iron Man symbol next to his name while speaking. He, and he thought it'd be fun to just rag this, rag Fraser. For a... Okay, I see what you mean now. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's just fucking rubbish. There should be a two-day ban. Yeah, let's talk about what, what should the punishment be for ragging. Don't do that. Why should go two-week ban? Start or two-day. Two-day, two-week. Yeah, two two I, I think very the sort of person who rags doesn't days, play this game seriously. Yeah, <laughs> 420. <laughs> I, th I think two weeks. Wow. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing two day a week, two week and prime. About the icon toggling, hmm, people just look up their stats, right? Uh, if you're really like, if you're worried about identifying someone as an Iron Man, like, there's always the high scores, like you said, so. Yeah. You can look them up to see if they're actually an Iron Man or not. But I'd, um, I'd say the the chat the chanting icon doesn't even like have that much. I don't know. Some people maybe effect. maybe they're not like, looking to rag. Maybe they're not hopping has... worlds. This find an Iron Man to rag, but they're just walking by and they see the. Cr they... That's another thing as well. I think some Iron Man think they getting crashed just because they're Iron Man. Some people may not think you're just a main. Like you say, Hulk Iron Man, you're just like. I get crashed, it's unfair. Yeah. Like, well, he might, he's not going to know that. He might not know that you've been um, you know, an Iron Man. He's just crashing you because he couldn't, he, couldn't, he, stopped, he couldn't be asked to look for a world anymore. And it's just unlucky he was on you. You just got to deal with it. Yeah, I'm going to miss seeing those helmets in chat. But I think if it, it will. If that actually helps Iron Man. Well, yeah. Yeah. If that helps them, I mean, I mean, have yeah, here but than me. it helps. Yeah. It's, it's such a small change, right? <laughs> the helmet. Yeah. I want a main helmet, bro. I mean, personally, I probably, I probably, there'd be very few like situations where I would uh, remove the helmet because I don't know, it's, it looks nice. I don't mind it, but like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's a useful thing to have there. It's just one of those things where it's it can benefit and prevent a lot of negative situations and it doesn't really have too many negative like 
uh, things because of it? Like, what what do you gain from it, or what do you what does how does the negative impact negatively impact yeah. someone by removing their symbol or by giving them the option yeah, to remove agree. their symbol? Right? It, it doesn't do anything for them. It can only have this positive benefit. I don't think it would like prevent a lot though, because you can kind of tell with an Iron Man and or isn't without even like seeing them talk, right? Yeah, but like Pico said, like the the guys who would take the opportunity if they saw an Iron Man to to crash them, it would take that away, as long as obviously you use the toggle in a smart manner. You know? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't completely, I think, because like you can kind of see with an Iron Man who's not by certain items sometimes, right? Yeah, so it wouldn't completely take it away, I think. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm a man up, so I'll probably be using a ring crossbow and fucking Saradam. <laughs> Interesting idea. So. Yeah, it's a good idea yeah, for sure. I I'm think like, that's all we have from this work. podcast, anyway. Anything else to add? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one short so. question I want to add to the podcast. If you could. Oh, fuck. I just realized this, this was asked. Oh, we can ask podcast. those. Oh, period <laughs> if you could one. add one thing to the game, what would you want? Or change one thing? Or add. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yeah. Add, 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 change, or delete doesn't matter. One more question. Oh, okay. One thing. Yeah, yeah we've been begging for that for a while. Add a good clan system. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Clan system. I, I really have on that. That's it. That's it. Fix our own mind crashing. Uh, and ragging. You know, you know what I want? I want the spec orb to be toggleable to go back to how the orbs were. <laughs> Before the spec orb, yeah, orbs yeah, yeah that's actually really... the run orb and the pay orb are moved up, just so the spec orb can be there. I don't fucking want that orb. Toggle uh, it so I can remove the spec orb, and the run orb and pay orb can go back to the. Spec I want the old total level box back. That's it. That's, it. that's the most wanted. Make it toggleable. Oh my god! The OCD is striking in. <laughs> yeah, we. I mean, I really like, I said it a lot for last podcast, too, yeah, but definitely. like, uh, better account security, like, there's still a lot of people getting hacked overall. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what they need to work on right now, I think. Plus, like, I, I do everything to protect my account, and I still don't feel, like, really safe. So that's a bad sign, right? Yeah, I'd agree. I'm, I'm just a paranoid person, too, so. All right, we'll wrap it up there, then. Uh, thanks for watching. I think the, the free discussion... Uh, method work to treat. I think it's really good and nicely flowing. So I think I'll be continuing the yeah. Yes. I like to say one thing, uh, <laughs> um, shout out to the <laughs> bottom thing. Alright. Oh see you guys uh, <laughs> Luke Ness. Uh, <laughs> Alright, see you guys on the next podcast. <laughs> Bye.